How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm going to teach you how to add your Google Calendar account to your iPhone calendar. So then all your meetings, events, absolutely everything you have on your Google Calendar will be automatically on your iPhone calendar, synced up in real time. Not only the past events, but all of the future events from now on. And you'll be able to check every single detail on your events or meetings, including if you have a video call, the links, absolutely everything. As you can see, the exact same meetings and events that I have here on my iPhone calendar are also here on my Google calendar as well, the exact same thing. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. So the process itself is extremely simple and all we need is to open up our settings and then right here at the top we have the search bar, tap on it and then look for calendar. It's just much faster this way, all right? Then tap here on calendar as you can see and then right here we already have calendar accounts tap on it and then that's all we need. Please keep in mind that we have two possible scenarios right here. Scenario number one, your iPhone is just like mine and the only account you have is your iCloud account, so your Apple account. That's scenario number one. I'm gonna show you how to add your Google account and then enable your Google Calendar. In scenario number two, maybe you already have your Google account right here. You can already see it but your calendars are not synced up. I'm gonna show you that scenario as well. So scenario number one, we're gonna add from the beginning. So let's go ahead here and add an account. Let's go ahead here and tap on Google. Of course, we wanna add a Google account. It's gonna open up an external page. And then what you have to do, of course, is your typical signing process. So email and then password. You can type it in manually, or if you already have your passwords, your iCloud passwords, you can use them as well. So email typed in, we can go ahead and tap on next so we can continue. And then we're gonna type in the password. So same goes, you can use your Apple passwords or type it in manually. I'm gonna use my Apple passwords. And then as you can see, it's logging in. And if you have two-step verification, you will need to do that as well, maybe using an external device, maybe with an SMS token. So go ahead and do that. And so as you can see, it's gonna confirm and then sign in to iOS. So confirm if that's the Google account you wanna sign in, continue as you can see, and then your typical process, iOS wants access to your Google account. So then of course you can continue and confirm of course, we are signing in from our iPhone, so it's all following every single privacy and security policies from Apple, okay? And now we have the most important part, because even though we added an account from our calendar settings, by default, it'll be turned off. And that's why most people have this problem, because you have to manually enable calendar. As you can see right here, we're adding the email and the calendar. Of course, if you don't want to, you don't need to add the mail, okay? So as you can see right here, uh, if you already have existing calendars, it's gonna ask if you wanna keep what you already have on your iPhone, I'll delete them. I'm gonna keep on my iPhone, so it's gonna keep what I already have and of course add everything from my Google account, right? So then right here, as I said, you can choose if you want your mail or calendar or just your calendar. You can disable mail if you want to. In my case, I want both, okay? So let's go ahead and tap on save. As you can see, account added. And then right here, we already have iCloud, so our Apple account and Gmail, mail and the calendar. So then of course, if you go ahead here and open up your calendars, it's gonna take a while for them to load. It's loading as you can see right here. And in a few seconds, it's gonna load those very two events that I showed you in the intro of the video. So it's gonna load in a few seconds. And of course, I didn't forget about scenario number two. So if you already had your Google account set up on your iPhone, but you're not seeing your calendars on your iPhone calendar app. And all you have to do guys is go back here to your calendar accounts, right? So our calendar settings, calendar accounts, and then tap on your Google account 
and all you have to do is just check Google calendars because probably what you've done when you added your Google account in the past is you just allowed your email, you forgot about your Google calendar. So all you have to do is enable it, very same process, keep on my iPhone, so it's gonna load right here, and then just wait a few seconds, it's gonna start loading, and then you're gonna see all your events. And so, as you can see, we've got here our events, just like you saw in the intro, paired and synced up with our Google Calendar events as well, meaning that we have finished our process. So, that's literally it. Thanks for watching, and that's how you add your Google Calendar account to your iPhone calendar. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye bye.